trying to hit the mall with these boys. My name's B Hunt. Welcome to the shop. I play Vice, Three Stripes is a Gang, and we're here to unbox the first Vice golf shoe ever by Adidas. I guess I'm just gonna talk about the box in general because it's fire. I think anybody that plays Vice knows that this is like the actual Vice box. Like, this is what I'm saying though. Like, this is the one. Like, the fact that it's literally. I love that. You guys ready to see what's happening? Jeez Louise, bro. With the drip. Yo, these are insane. The materials is crazy though. These are wild, bro. What? I've never seen a golf shoe look like this. Like, why is my golf wardrobe so different than my actual wardrobe, you know? I think sneaker culture getting into the game, it's important, man. Like, if the game is gonna grow, it needs to get young kids involved. And I think, um, weirdly enough, apparel and footwear and fashion is one of those reasons. Nice box, by the way. Wow. So you guys haven't felt these actually? Not the final, final version. First though. time? Yeah. Super clean, huh? Yeah. For me, it was like instantly no-brainer. Yeah. Um, I, I love what Vice does. I love what they stand for. You know, they're they're kind of high performance products with a little bit of an add to it. You know, we thought Ultra Boost was a good fit just from what Ultra Boost has done for running. Um, it's just that perfect marriage of kind of street style with performance. I mean, people have won marathons on the shoe, but people are wearing around the streets. Adidas came out in 2015, I think, exactly. with the Boost technology. We said, well, this would be dope to wear it on the golf course. And actually, we were wearing it on the golf yeah. course, but not with the golf sole. What I like about it is just seeing this type of silhouette on the course. Yeah. I mean, you're going to get all day comfort and then when we what we did with the sole you're gonna get a traction element there that's you know great for the game yeah. but um, you can wear this on and off the course it's pretty versatile you could rock a day in these things and you would look hella normal street style we, yeah. we love which adidas is bringing in and has bringing in since the 80s since the 90s bringing a sports shoe to the streets and the way back Adidas has already done in different sports, but has never done in golf. We grew up with this brand, and yeah, it's, it's an honor for us to work with them. Yeah, you know, um, working with the Vice team, they made it easy on us. They um, had a vision, and we just, you know, collaborated in a sense to help them bring it to life. And we felt like, um, man, that collaboration was um, very unique, you know, with the prime knit and how it's water resistant. What? But this is waterproof? It's actually my natural reaction. <laughs> the fact that this is waterproof, I mean, that changed, yeah, that changes everything. But knowing that it has like the actual like durability to handle some weather. When the Adidas guys came up and they were like, yeah, we can do a waterproof net, we were like, whoa, yeah, waterproof? Game changer, yeah. right? Yeah, um, it's hydrophobic, right, at the yarn level. So like we were talking about earlier, um, it's not a spray coating that will wear off over time. It's, it's built into the knit. So if you literally run a hose or run this underneath the um, um, sink, the water will bead right off. It's pretty amazing to see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, I think the other, the other advantage of, of prime knit, I mean, it's built like a sock, so it expands with your foot. Yeah. Um, but we have some built-in um, support inside the shoe as well, so it's not just a running shoe. Yeah. Um, it supports your foot in all the right ways. And then you have the heel counter, the external heel counter, um, which came on the UV19. Um, but we also have an internal counter as well that helps really support that, that your heel keeps it stable during the swing. And then adding the films and the speckle that, that links up the ball. Um, and just the color palette alone is, is um, super clean but loud at the same time. I think the, the whole color combination is like an insight to the vice golf world. Really eye-catching stuff that you don't see every other golfer wearing because you don't want to be like every other golfer. The neon lime color, which is our, our signature color for vice golf, and the drip pattern just emphasizes our whole design language. It's like a, a tiny, playful element. It just worked for the ball and we liked it so much that we actually started putting it on different products. Yeah. This is something we haven't seen before, especially in the golf world. Um, but it also adds a protection to boost. I don't know if most people wear boost, 
um, they get very dirty and hard yeah. to clean a little bit. This actually has a film. It's not just speckled paint, but it's a, on gotcha. a film around yeah. the boost, which will help it keep cleaner um, when you're playing golf on the, on the course. We like the idea of a camouflage, but we didn't want it to be generic. We want it to be actually a, a tip of the hat to golf. It's based on uh, the Whistling Straits golf course, as the shoe was originally planned to be released for the, the Ryder Cup. Honestly, for me, I think it makes a fun statement. It's like you can break some rules, yeah. um, have a good time, and not really get too serious about it. I mean, that's what we try to do with all our products, right? Yeah. I mean, I mean, we don't want to offend the game. We stick into the boundaries, but we want to just make it a slightly different and you know, just make the sport we all love more attractive for for a lot of different people. For everyone. Yeah. The same experience you get from opening one of our golf ball packages. I got too hyped for the shoes to even spectate. You can see like little bunkers and little greens and golf balls coming with it. I didn't expect it. So this is like one of those things that your like wife gets bummed out because you just have boxes of shit around. Because you're just like, yo, this is too fire to throw away. Just seeing how they do things differently, how they show up and look differently, this needed to come out and look different as well. These are awesome. Yeah. That's <laughs> sick, dude.